today we're gonna do some crayon melting. It's one of my absolute favorite art projects, but it can be a little tricky nowadays because it can be really hard to find old warming trays. So you gotta be on the look at it. Garage sales, consignment shops, estate sales, see if you can find a warming tray. The reason why warming trays are better is because you plug them in, they stay on a nice, low, consistent heat, which makes it a lot easier for the kids. However, just because we can't find warming trays doesn't mean we don't do this anymore. Hence, the griddle. I know you all have a griddle. Don't let it scare you just because it can go up to 400 degrees. So you're going to keep it set at a really, really low temperature, as low as it goes, okay? So you keep it set nice and low, and then you get a whole bunch of crayons. Your prep work before you do this project with the kids is to peel all the labels off the crayons. Um, all of them. Just strip them down. Everybody finds a way to do it. I actually use a little paring knife. I slice it and then peel the, the crayon paper off. That's That works for me. Find a way that works for you. Um, and I also will tell you that in this particular um, activity, Crayola crayons definitely work the best. There's something about the wax. It melts perfectly. So, crayon melting, in case you've never done it before. The heat's coming up, of course, and we've got foil. That's my favorite thing to use is foil, 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 foil. And obviously here is that the crayon is going to start melting because the heat's coming up from under it. Now I'm an adult, so of course, you know, I have a lot of fine motor control. Let's find a good color here for the filming for you to see. So I don't need to worry about getting burnt. But if you're working with the younger kids, you know, they could slip and get their hand burnt. So what we do is we put out a, an oven mitt, literally an oven mitt, so the child can rest their non-dominant hand on the oven mitt while they're actually doing crayon melting designs. Um, some children will, will actually just like to take a little piece of crayon and drop it, and they like to just literally just watch it melt. And don't get all anal about that. That's fine. Some kids like to just do it really slow. It's actually a very calming activity. Um, ideally, you'd have two or three going at a time, so a couple of children could be working, um, not together on one thing, um, but maybe next to each other. So you can use foil, you can use paper, you can use anything. My preference is to use crayons, of course, Crayola crayons, and foil and wax paper. And I'm going to show you what the wax paper does here in a second. I'm going to peel this off right here. I'm going to take off my crayon, take off my foil. The other thing is that it's dry. So if you wanted to, you could actually display them right away, hang them up. Um, some display options for you um, is that you can fold it down with the child's assistance, of course, and the child's direction. You could actually kind of frame it a little bit. You wouldn't do this unless the child wanted to do it, so remember that. Don't, don't do this to it just because you like that. Because if the child just wants to bring it home the way they did it, they need to be allowed to do that. But really quick, I just showed you here how you could actually frame it, boom, and display it. Okay, so that's crayon melting using foil. Pretty much the absolute same technique, except this time I'm going to put down some wax paper. Same crayons, got my, my hand resting, a little bit more vibrant with the wax paper. It's so soothing. I, I don't know if the filming is picking that up, but it's very rhythmic. It's very slow, the green, and some magenta, a little bit of blue. See how that comes up here? That looks nice. Um, and I would, I've done this, and I would do it with, with youngers, with olders with um, even older children, even school-age children, even as an art project, if you were junior high or high school kids, you know, I, I, I highly doubt this is something that they've done any time in, in their recent past. So here, I'll finish this up here, and then I'll lift it up so you can see what happens. Put my crayons back, move my, my oven mitt, lift it up. And actually, I'm gonna turn it here in front of our window. So these are actually projects that you could hang up in the window for display, and once again, already dry. So I hope you enjoy this one. <laughs> 